Hey there, and welcome to Ontario Math, and today we are going to get into some fractions, decimals, percent, and ratio. Um, the big idea that I want you to get into is that um, you can represent an amount or comparison as either a fraction, a decimal, a percent, or a ratio, and that uh, if you have, or if you're given one of them, that you can convert and find all four answers. And sometimes you need to do that in life. For example, if you need to find the percent of a bill for dinner and you need to find uh, like a tip, if you want to tip 15 or 20%, you'd have to find a percent of a number and convert it to a decimal. So sometimes you need to be able to flip and flop between all four. So let's get into it. Let's say uh, we had a fraction three over 11. And by the way, on the side here, there's a write-up. Um, I won't really get into that too much. I'll talk uh, I'll talk without it, but you can feel free to stop and pause it and read that on the side if you want. So uh, how do I change a fraction to a ratio? Well, by default, a ratio is basically a sideways fraction. So I would take the numerator 3, and a ratio is always comparing parts to a whole or parts to a part. So in this case, is parts to a whole, 3 out of 11. So the ratio is 3 to the numerator, 2, and that's represented by a colon, two dots, right? 3 to 11. So 3 parts to 11 parts of the whole. For example, if I had 3 dogs and I had 11 pets in total, my ratio would be 3 dogs to 11 pets in total. Now, how do we switch it from a fraction to a decimal? Well, if you have a calculator, it's really easy. You just take the numerator, 3, and divide it by the denominator, 11. So 3 divided by 11 equals 0 0.2727227. But I really just want two decimal spots. So I'm going to round 0 decimal 27, or 27 hundredths. If I need to find a percent from a fraction, uh, I would find the decimal first, because it's really easy to go from a decimal to a percent. Percent means something over 100, and 0 0.27 means 0 and 27 hundredths, so it's easy. 27 hundredths is 27 over 100, which also means 27%. Once your fraction is over 100, or once you have the decimal, uh, you can just switch it over just like that. So 27%. So 27% means the same as 0 0.27, which can mean the same as 3 to 11, 3 over 11, or 3 to 11. Now, say I had, uh, was given percent like 45%, and I needed to go the other way. Well, let's do that. So we just said 45% is like 45 over 100. So that, I can write the fraction pretty easily, right? If I have that, if I know what that means, right? So that means 45 over 100, but, if I really want to sound smart, uh, I can simplify that. And what that just means is divide it by both the numerator and the denominator by the same number if you can, and I know that they both can be divided by 5. So 45 divided by 5 is 9, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. So my answer as a fraction could be 45 over 100 or 9 over 20. Last, uh, I can write as a, or third, I can write as a decimal. So I can take 45% and write it 0 point, and right there, 45, right? 45 hundredths or 45 hundredths. Last but not least, the ratio, I can write it as 45 to 100, or I can use this and go 9 to 20. Okay, and last but not least, here's a quiet word problem. The ratio of girls to boys is 4 to 5. What percent of your class are girls? So if this was by a ratio of four girls to five boys, the problem is the fraction always wants it, the denominator in total. So it's actually four girls over, it's not five boys total, but how many students in total? There are nine. So I have to write it like that. That's what's different here. Decimal, well, I do four divided by nine, which equals 0 0.4444, but I'll leave it at four, four. And as a percent, I just write down 44 out of 100, or 44 percent. So that's just the difference, is that when you're comparing two parts, you actually have to add them to make your whole at the bottom. And that's it. Rewatch it, read it at the side. Good luck.